to understand why the charges were not brought despite the immense amount of police man hours present. And then the why behind the why. Why are you so concerned about this case? It's a matter of public interest. It's a matter of public interest when some people are prosecuted for a crime and others aren't prosecuted. That happens every hour of every day in every prosecutorial county all the time. This is, I haven't seen you on any other request. Why this one? Uh, my client wanted to pursue this. Why? She believed I, wanna, I need to understand. I'm weighing the public interest. I'm weighing what you assert is the public interest. And so I'm trying to understand why this particular case you're so interested in it. What is it about this case that is so much the public interest as opposed to your client's interest? And that's what I'm trying to establish. Well, this, this case, I mean, this case was used to paint a large swath of the population as complete dirt pay. As what now? As dirtbags. It was to show these are the people that supported this candidate. These are that was that was the the this false police report was used to besmirch millions of names to show that these people. How, how was that? How was that? I'm not aware of that. Uh, public in public forums and um, whether it be in social media. This case, millions of people have focused on this case. No, but but the name. Uh, that's it. Millions have focused. I'm saying that people, this was brought out, this was presented to show as conclusive evidence that a certain segment of our society is complete and utter dirtbags. What, where, do you, where do you get that from? It was uh, all over social media. It was in the news. It was. It was. Any examples? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, it, it, was, it was used as anecdotal evidence. It, like, well, see, the world is going to hell now that. Can Trump you show me one left. example of what you're talking about? I do not have one with me at present, but I can certainly provide. Well, it would seem to me that this is the basis of why you brought the lawsuit. So if it's millions and all over, you could show me one. I Here did. today, you, you brought the lawsuit. This would be. Well, I, but I did. I, it's not that I can't show you. Do a Google search of it. I mean, it's not that I can't show you. I just wasn't prepared with copies of articles at this moment. I did not think that was germane to this. Who's motion. the large segment of society that are dirt bags? I'm not aware. Well, of the people that people that voted for Trump. It was used. It was used to put through social media on news sites to show that look at these people, the horrors that are being committed by these people, to paint these people in a light. This. In today's society, one person speaks for one person's sins can be painted to the sins of all. I'm just uh, I, I've met a lot of people I know voted for Trump. I don't think I've, any of them ever even know anything about this, nor do I. So I, I'm I'm, fair, I'm fairly confident many of them do. I'm, I'm fairly confident many of them don't. That may be. Yeah, I'm not quite sure this where this. So this public interest is apparently now to uh, to do what. Well, the fact they're over, I have no concept of how many hundreds of man hours were spent to investigate this case, as this case was a, was a... We don't make determinations about FOIA and redactions based upon the identity of the requester, generally speaking. But since that time, we have, and I don't want to get too much into it, it's a little bit of a flavor for the court as in our reply brief, but Ms. Schlesel in this case is a blogger and a pundit, a very anti-Muslim blogger and pundit. She has made it clear on her website that her intention in this case is to take the identity of this person and try her in the court of the public opinion and, and, and carry out the job that the prosecutor's office decided that they didn't want to do in this case. We didn't know that at the time, but since then we've learned that there is a, a particular uh, intended use of this information that heightens the privacy considerations and concerns for a person who was never charged. And so for that reason, we think in-camera review just by the judge, not by, by the plaintiff or her counsel, is imperative to protect the rights of that person. How, how will I be able to examine